Hey guys, it's Tomek here and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are here for something new and something big. So, this is F1 Esports Challengers, the official way uh, of Formula 1 into getting into F1 Esports, the very last step before you acquire the pro license and get into F1 Esports and today we are somewhat getting started with it with this little pre-season race that was organized uh, a full week before the first round which is gonna happen on 20th of January um, on PC. So this little pre-season race here in Australia was a fun way to um, test everything out before challengers, the, the organizers could just um, get everything ready and test it and we could have a little race with each other and get to know um, it each other a little bit better as you can see in the background having a rough start to qualifying but yeah basically what is happening right now is the qualifying <laughs> session uh, and um, going into this race I was actually haven't put much practice in uh, because obviously all the practice I'm putting in right now is towards what's gonna really matter so the first couple rounds of F1 Esports challenges which are gonna ha happen over the next month or so so the, obviously Australia wasn't my priority when practicing and I've only done about an hour uh, of practice on this track uh, and when you add the fact that uh, it was right after I got myself a new CSO DD uh, installed uh, you can imagine that this was quite a weird experience and uh, the confidence levels weren't at their peak so yeah the first two laps as you can see the first one ended up in the wall second one very poor 20.6 that is nowhere near being uh, a good lap but going to this final one here I knew I have a little bit of pace uh, and maybe we can pull the lap together so let me take you through a lap of Australia a track that I've actually not done on this game much and hasn't been done much in leagues uh, mostly because it's been moved from the very start of the calendar to uh, being basically in the dead list of tracks at the end after Brazil uh, or at least in the F1 game order of tracks so yeah uh, this sector one here, quite clean, uh, just focusing on the exits out of the corners, as I said, um, the lines or my driving in general doesn't look uh, very confident and it really wasn't, uh, as I said, those two um, factors of, of me not practicing much and being on a new um, hardware uh, just didn't help. But this lap so far has been actually quite clean, we almost ran into uh, our teammate Flores there who's crashed out, thankfully his AI ghosted, which it didn't seem like it would, but uh, thankfully it did. Uh, but so far this lap you can see we are almost three tenths up as we head into the final sector, so uh, right here I'm thinking, okay I'm on a decent lap. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, just this last sector to go now. Um, so as I said, this is just a fun race to uh, kind of test ourselves for uh, F1 Esports Challengers and I decided to make a video on it uh, just to get you guys maybe a bit more uh, into details with, with what F1 Esports Challengers is gonna be like as well. But coming across the line, almost half a second up and we do a 20.1 which puts us on provisional pole and that turns into actual pole for the race as we outqualify uh, our um, countryman Peot Stahules who I'm actually working with for this F1 Esports Challenger so you're gonna hear him in the background talking in voice chat um, yeah basically we've been good friends for a while now and uh we decided that it would only make sense to work together for this F1 Esports Challenger season. So, um, yeah, we are very happy with the result. However, going here into the race, as you can see on the top left, uh, from P3 downwards, we have people on the medium tires, and that was caused by a session restart, and we weren't forced to start on the exact same tires like we uh, qualified on in the in the quali session. So that's why only me and Piotr are on the soft tires, and everyone else is on the mediums, which we found quite weird because the medium soft strategy isn't that good uh, but yeah that's how they were allowed to do it uh, and let's now move on to the race itself uh, as we line up on the grid and prepare for the race start so here we go the challengers pre-season race it's five red lights and away we go and we get a decent reaction time however uh, the second phase of the start was just much better for Piot and uh, here going to turn one I'm not gonna battle him uh, because our focus has to be on pulling away from this medium run so we had no idea of what the medium pace is gonna be like so we knew that uh, for the first couple laps we definitely have to push uh, because we also have the benefit of starting on fresh soft tires rather than um, used ones from quali like we would have to, uh, normally had to so uh, yeah here this first lap we are pushing so super super hard and you can see already after one sector we pull one second to Wilson behind uh, oh sorry that's actually Kedden now uh, on the medium so the, the the amount of grip that we have compared to the medium runners is amazing and uh, just like we expected the medium tires aren't working now and they are losing 
tons and tons of time, which, um, you know, you might argue they will gain back at the end of the race, but uh, the advantage we have right now is, is, is major, and what's going to help us towards the end as well is going to be the track position, as you can see, 1.7 seconds, and we haven't even done the full lap yet, so that's just the how big the advantage of the meet you of the soft sorry uh, is around this track and uh, both me and Piot uh, were talking about how we want to be uh, pushing uh, as hard as possible despite this gap you know already being outside of one second uh, we try to push very hard and that's why you can see us using our batteries a little bit there and there uh, and just uh, putting on a great pace at the moment uh, Piot is about six stands in front which is comfortable there is no risk of him pulling away from me uh, whilst pulling away from the medium runners and end of lap 3 you can see 5 seconds to the cars behind so the advantage we have on the soft is amazing and it was around this point where our engineers were starting to kind of get sure that we nailed the strategy and the medium soft is just not gonna work what didn't help the guys behind as well was they were getting involved in lots of incidents they were battling very heavily uh, and that's why the gap is at 9 seconds come the end of lap 5 but as you can see here end of lap 5 we start thinking about the move on Piot again um, as the stint went on uh, I found myself more and more confident with the car uh, which was gonna be uh, you know which was obviously gonna happen because with each lap I'm learning something new about this track this is what happens when you don't practice much and coming out of this final corner here I realized that maybe now is a good time to get ahead and try to see what kind of pace I can set and going to turn one we get very close to Sakura's but we're gonna wait with the move for the second straight and here we're gonna use a bit of overtake I tell Sakura's right now that I'm going for it uh, and he's well aware of it and going to the turn three here uh, we take the lead of the race again after having lost it uh, just a couple meters going into the race so yeah we now lead the Australian Grand Prix and the gap behind uh, to the medium runners has went up to almost 11 seconds uh, and in the meantime Sahul has picked up a three second penalty as well so we are on a very easy path to to winning this race but um obviously we still have to remain focused for the second stint as we now dive into the pits at the end of lap seven uh, from these fresh softs they held up very well but eventually you gotta put on the mediums and we felt like lap seven would be the perfect lap to do so and that's why piot also pits on that lap and uh yeah obviously we're gonna rejoin in free in clean air there's no way anyone undercuts us we had a huge gap and uh, we rejoin in the net lead with just one medium run in front of us uh, but yeah, um, we're now gonna skip on to the very last lap because pretty much nothing happened as I said the gap we had with uh, Piot was great uh, and him getting also five seconds on the pit entry uh, meant that I was pretty much guaranteed a victory but we still wanted to fight it out on track and that's why uh, you can see here on the final lap we are battling very hard we both want to win on track uh, just you know it is a pre-season race we might as well um, race a little bit uh, rather than think about stuff like oh he's not gonna get me anyways because of the gap uh, let's just try and um, battle it out so uh, yeah going to turn three Sahuas didn't really have a chance to attack me however there's still one more DRS straight where he can take that provisional race lead obviously have, with penalties applied there's no way Sahuas is winning this race but we might as well uh, go for it we might as well battle it out like we've done so many times in the past uh, in uh, for example Polish competitions where we are always the two ones at the top and where where we had many many uh, hard uh, and nice battles between each other but yeah going through the chicane just focusing on the exit uh, taking a warning actually only my second warning of the race I knew I could take one so I pushed it to the limit through that chicane uh, he goes around the outside going to turn 11 we're just gonna leave him enough room uh, and we should have the inside for this uh, long right hander parking the bus and now defending the inside the being in the middle of the track for the penultimate corner uh, getting a nice exit up to fourth gear and through the final corner just making sure we don't make a mistake on the exit so Sakura can't get us here on the DRS and we are just gonna take the win of the pre-season race in F1 Esports Challengers and uh, yeah, a pretty cool way to start this whole thing off. I obviously uh, am well aware that, uh, you know, people didn't take this too seriously or or the fact that, you know, we were on the very much clear strategy, but it still feels good to um, be able to get a good race uh, under our belts. And uh, most importantly, with how little practice I've had and with the new equipment, I was able to get comfortable with the track very quickly. It's a good sign of things to come in the season and um, obviously nice to win this pre-season one uh, in, in style, uh, obviously, with Piot in second, which also was great for both of us because we knew that we are very 
much contenders to be battling for, for, you know, maybe the title of challengers this year. So, yeah, that is it for today. A very short video. Um, just wanted to show you uh, some highlights of this preseason race that we've done. Uh, I think it turned out great. We've done uh, a, a very good job with, with Piotr and... Um, yeah, I think uh, it was it was a great one. But for today, that is it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video, just showing you some highlights of the preseason race because I found it quite fun to race in. Yeah, see you in the actual season in a week's time, starting with uh, round one in China. So looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.